welcome to Teacher Tidbits. I'm Lady Long and I'm super excited to show you guys how you can make your own busy boards for your toddler and baby. So the first thing you need here is some cardboard and some extra cardboard. Worst thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to hot glue the extra cardboard down to the base and I'm making some simple rectangle cutouts. I'm going to be using this to go over pattern visual discrimination with my toddler. This skill is absolutely necessary when learning how to read and write. I love making my own busy boards because they're totally customizable. And so on this side, you can use these cutouts to go over any type of skills. You can put down different colors or you can even use different textured things to go over sensory. And so what you're going to do is just hot glue down a clothesline pen to keep everything nice and neat and in its place. Now the cardboard base that I'm using is actually a cardboard envelope. And so it came with these extra flaps and I'm using what I have. And that's what I love about DIY is that you're using what you already have. And so I've used these flaps to make different sections. On one side, I have the letters of my child's name and on the other side, I have shapes. I use clothesline pens to write the corresponding letters to her name as well as the shapes. And I do this again on the other side with colors and with numbers. If you guys wanna create this effect, you can easily take an extra piece of cardboard and have your own DIY flap. So these are great ways to go over letters, colors, shapes, and numbers and still use fine motor. Here's a fun way to practice pre-writing. I went ahead and I mixed some hair gel, some food coloring, and some glitter inside of a sandwich bag. I love this because it also doubles as a quick sensory. You wanna have strong tape available. You tape down the close end of the Ziploc bag, and then use some hot glue to hot glue it down to the baseboard so that everything stays in place. You want to take another clothespin, hot glue that down to the base, and then have some index cards handy so that way your child can practice writing those letters. Here's another cool way to get those little fingers ready for writing. Go ahead and take the tops of those pouches that we all have. I cut a slit in the base and then I hot glue them down. And that way the child can simply practice twisting them on and off. So here's the first busy board in motion, you guys. I made this one explicitly for my two-year-old. She loved the gel bag, mostly for sensory, but she did use it to practice writing out some of her letters. And this was such a great way to build those strength in her little fingers. And it was also great for us to go over lowercase letters in her name. I also have a one-year-old. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make a quick busy board for baby. I start off the same with a sturdy piece of cardboard, but for this I have extra pieces of cardboard just in case I want to change these materials up. So I went ahead and I hot glued the spare pieces of cardboard to the base, and then I'm going to hot glue toilet paper tissue rolls to those spare pieces. I'm using rings that I have from mason jars that are totally safe for little fingers. And I'm going to add some clothes pins to these as well so my little one-year-old can practice pinching. I have here an earring box that I'm going to reuse. I'm going to hot glue this down to the base and that way my one-year-old can practice opening and closing this box. Everything on this busy board is practicing fine motor skill and building dexterity in those little fingers, getting them ready to write. As you can see, my one-year-old had just as much fun as my two-year-old. I do wanna put a disclaimer that if you're going to do any of these activities, you wanna make sure that you're monitoring your little ones, especially those babies with these small objects and these small fingers. 
There you have it, you guys. This is my quick video to share with you some ideas on how you can create your own busy boards at home, customizable to your child's specific needs. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and leave us a comment below if you're going to give this a try. This is Teacher Tidbits. Happy learning.